Hi everybody, today's video is our allocation video. In this video, these mini Labradoodle puppies are going to find out or let everybody know I guess is what they're going to do and tell our families who they are going to. So next to pickup day, this is the most exciting day for all of our families from Van Isle Labradoodles. We wait till the puppies are just of the right age where we can get to see their personalities. We match that with our families and what they're looking for and their lifestyles and that way we ensure a really great fit. So these little Labradoodles are all minis. These are the puppies from our tiny and terrific litter. We're going to go through each of the puppies in their birth order and let our families know which of these mini Labradoodle puppies is going to be going home with them. So our firstborn in this litter is Tiana. And Tiana is a gorgeous chocolate and white party Labradoodle puppy. And Tiana's going to go and live in Victoria and she's going to live with Bob and Jennifer and Eddie. Eddie is a dog. So Bob and Jennifer were looking to add a puppy to their home because they've always been a two dog household and they recently lost their Wheaton Terrier. So they've been looking for a buddy for their uh, Havanese whose name is Eddie and Eddie is seven years old. So he's uh, not a puppy himself, but right at that age where you want to encourage him to still be active and have a good friend. And they also are looking for a puppy to honor the wishes of their daughter, Leah. So they're looking for a good balance of a puppy who's energetic and will enjoy playing with Eddie, and also with their son and daughter-in-law's uh, seven-month-old puppy named Ollie. And they also want this puppy to be calm and cuddly and happy to enjoy retirement with Bob and Jennifer. So the puppy needs to be adaptable, fit into a variety of different environments, be happy to be home with Bob, Jennifer, and Eddie, and also be equally happy to be in a great big family gathering. Bob and Jennifer have a large extended family and sometimes have gatherings of up to 24 people, they tell me. During COVID, that's a little bit limited, but we're all so hopeful that that will end soon. And they also want a puppy who's going to enjoy traveling and car rides as their usual routine is to uh, spend the winters in Palm Springs. What a terrible life that this little girl Tiana is going to have. And we also want, um, they also want a puppy who's going to be good with their grandchildren. And they have a beautiful black backyard for the puppy to play in. And of course they want a cuddly puppy. So this little monkey, this little Tiana girl is such a good fit for Bob and Jennifer and Eddie. She just wants to be loved. She just thinks that being around people and cuddling is great. But she's also an active puppy who really enjoys playing with her siblings. She enjoys playing with our other uh, Labradoodles who are adults. And she's very respectful of them. She gets her confidence both from people and other dogs. So an ideal fit to go to a home where there is already an existing dog. And she's going to really enjoy having Eddie as her new sibling. Uh, Eddie at seven is going to be able to show her the ropes. He's going to give her some confidence and he's going to be a good friend to her. Eddie might take a little while to warm up to her as he might feel a little usurped at the, having been the only dog for a while but I'm uh, quite confident that Bob and Jennifer with their lots and lots of years of dog experience will be very successful in integrating the two together. And uh, Tiana is the type of puppy who also will be very accommodating to Eddie and his needs. She's intuitive enough to know eh, he doesn't really wanna play right now, but she'll also be the puppy who goes, oh, come on, come on, Eddie, let's play. And I'm sure Eddie will quickly be convinced that, oh yeah, she's okay to play with. Um, as well, Tiana is very good with children. Uh, when we've done our desensitization and socialization with these mini Labradoodle puppies, she is one of the puppies who has really enjoyed interacting with children. So she's going to enjoy having the grandchildren around and she's also the type of puppy who's really going to thrive when there are big gatherings once again. She will uh, really enjoy all that attention. And Bob and Jennifer say that uh, when Eddie goes to Palm Springs, he's definitely adored by all 
all of the people who live in the area where they winter and I'm quite sure that this little one is also going to equally enjoy all of that attention. She'll enjoy all the walks along Dallas Road and in the surrounding areas and she'll also be quite content just to explore in their nice backyard. Uh, she is the type of girl who when she is outside she does like to uh, look around and poke around and sniff things out and Bob and Jennifer will probably remember from their uh, visit how much uh, this one was always in the garden. So if you have a really nice uh, flower bed you might want to keep your eye on this one for that. Uh, she should be a really good traveler. She's quite good in the car. Uh, this little girl is in our Head Start program, so we will make sure that she does have lots of car rides so that we've got her uh, desensitized and happy with that right from the get-go. She's not a dominant type of girl, so she's not going to ever feel she wants to be the boss of Eddie. She'll be the type of girl who's quite content with letting him lead the way, and she'll be the follower. And uh, Tana's got a very special role in her new family and her personality to me is just right for that role. And we're pretty sure that Leah would really approve of Eddie's new friend in this little Tiana. And we know that uh, Tiana's uh, choice was to name Eddie's new puppy either Ruby or Sadie. So that will be this little girl's new name. We can't wait to hear which one it is. My bet's on Sadie since she's not uh, got any red at her at all. And I think Sadie just suits her perfectly. Just a really great fit. And I know that Tiana, soon to be Sadie or Ruby, is going to love her new life in Victoria with Bob and Jennifer. Next we have Peter Pan. Hi Petey. Peter Pan is our only boy in this litter and he is the one with the 500 mile an hour tail and he is our chocolate phantom puppy. Peter Pan is also going to go and live in Victoria and he is going to be Chloe's dog. Now he's not going to be just Chloe's dog because Chloe is a young woman and she does still live at home with her family. However, the main purpose of this puppy's life is to be Chloe's companion. And Chloe was looking for a dog who also will get along with the dogs who are already in her family. So they have Teddy who's 11 year old Shih Tzu and they have Dusty who's a two-year-old Collie Cross and they also have a cat named Kim who is two years old as well. But the primary goal is for this puppy to be Chloe's puppy and to have a really special relationship with Chloe. Chloe is looking for a puppy who's going to be fun, who wants to go on walks and hikes, go swimming, watch her play soccer, boating and fishing are all going to be part of this little guy's life and a super adaptable and t intuitive puppy. Yes, that's you. Can you be all those things? Oh, I think so. So Mr. Peter Pan, well, th as I said, look at this tail. He is the happiest dog. He is full of optimism and enthusiasm and love and cuddles. And he is just going to be so much fun for you, Chloe. He, we couldn't have found a better fit for you and actually for quite some time this is the puppy that I thought was going to be the best fit for you. He just loves other dogs and playing so he's going to think that living with two dogs and even with the cat is going to be so much fun. He's the type of guy who's going to respect Kim too. He's going to understand that the cat is the boss of the house and there's no getting around that. He is the type of fellow who can't wait to go outside. He's always running around and like, what is our next adventure? And Chloe, I think that it just suits you perfectly because you're very much that type of young woman as well. He also loves to be cuddled. Right now, he's not in the cuddle mode, as you can see. Right now, he's just so excited and all he wants to do is play. But he, he'll play and he'll go like crazy. And then you can see he always is giving the kisses. And he loves to be held and be upside down. And so he'll be happy to spend quiet time with you and do your homework. Don't forget your homework. Uh, and he is going to uh, be the type of puppy who is going to form such a close bond with you, Chloe. That is the sort of thing that um, will match this puppy. I can't imagine a better fit for Peter Pan, and I'm just delighted that we are able to find such a good fellow for you, too. 
And because you're in Victoria, I am so looking forward to hearing how things go and how you and Peter Pan develop a lifelong companionship and friendship. I can't wait to hear what you decided to name him and I hope you'll come back and visit us regularly so we can see the two of you. Congratulations to Chloe and Peter Pan going to Victoria. Next we have Snow White. Hello Snow White. Snow White is our extreme party in the litter. This is the biggest puppy in the litter and she is the breeder choice for this litter. She is going to go to our mentee who is Sherry from Chilliwack Labradoodles. So Snow White is going to go and live in Chilliwack. And the reason that uh, Sherry was looking for a puppy is to expand her program. She's a newer breeder and uh, she is just getting underway and doing fabulously. We're so delighted to be her mentor. And we think that this little lady is just going to add so much to her program. So when we look for a breeding dog selection, what we're looking for is a Labradoodle who most closely matches the breed standard. And this little girl has that in spades. She has a beautiful Labradoodle head, which is a big square blocky head, lavish looking, nice high set ears, good strong stop. And this little girl has a beautiful, beautiful, nice stocky build, which is exactly what we're always hoping to find in our Labradoodle breeding prospects. And then temperament wise, what we're looking for is a girl, if we're looking for a female, we're looking for a girl who is naturally loving, intuitive, and has a personality that has the strength so that they can take on the task of being a successful mama dog. So we don't want a dog who's quiet or shy or at all nervous about anything. And we don't want a dog who's so outgoing that they're only concerned about themselves or they're gonna mow their puppies over. A puppy, or a Labradoodle rather, when she has puppies, has to be able to stay on her own uh, pretty much most of the time when she first has her puppies. It can be a little bit boring, I'm sure, because most of the time they're there nursing their puppies. So it's important that you have a puppy who's adaptable and who has that strong character, and but is also got the most gentle personality and is going to pass on fabulous traits to her little Labradoodle puppies. So congratulations to Chilliwack Labradoodle doodles and to our little Snow White who is headed off to Chilliwack. And the last puppy in the litter is our gorgeous little Goldilocks. Hello sweet girl. So she's the opposite of Snow White in terms of size. She's the smallest puppy in the litter and she is a caramel puppy. So this little girl is going to Sydney so not very far from Victoria and she's going to go and live with Anne and Dennis. Now what Anna and Dennis were looking for, this is their very first dog. So they needed a dog who was going to be able to help them raise herself. Right, baby girl? They wanted also a dog who was going to fit in well with their seven-year-old cat named Patty. They also enjoy going for walks, playing on the beach, lots of fun and laughter in their homes. And Anne was looking for a puppy who was going to provide some love and comfort to seniors. And she volunteers and, and uh, delivers meals to seniors. And she also does some volunteering, just providing some comfort for the elderly. And that requires a puppy who's going to make people smile and understands that they need to be gentle. So Goldilocks is such a nice little fit here. She is the type of puppy who's ideal for a first time dog owner. She's very, very keen on doing what you want her to do. She's a quieter puppy, nice and calm. I've never heard her bark. I've never heard her growl. She does make the odd sound when she's playing. She's playful and she will love being in Sydney so close to the ocean on Vancouver Island. Couldn't have a more lovely location to grow up in. There's a beautiful walk all along the ocean in Sydney. Reynolds and I have enjoyed that walk many times and I know that little Goldilocks is just going to enjoy that as well. Sydney's a great dog town. There's lots of places that are dog friendly and it's just ideal to uh, raise a puppy in. So there'll be lots of support in the community in the neighborhood uh, for Anne and Dennis being first time dog owners. And they are going to be going to one of our favorite trainers. So it's all working out just great. Uh, this puppy is very gentle and she's a very sweet and kind puppy. Perfect for uh, Anne's volunteer work. She'll be fitting right in there and she'll be the type of dog that 
elderly people and seniors really respond to. She's so sweet and she's so tiny. She's a very petite little girl and she has the gentlest eyes and face. So she's just the type of puppy that if you are older or if you're in a nursing home or any sort of situation like that, you just gravitate to her and you want to just reach out and cuddle her. And Goldilocks is the type of person, or type of person, the type of Labradoodle who's going to love all that attention from people and will tolerate being petted by many, many different people and just respond to that in a really positive manner. So Goldilocks is also um, a retiring type of puppy in her personality. She's not a leader by any means, so she's definitely not going to be challenging the cat. She will understand right away that oh, I'm going to stay out of the way of those claws and all that hissing. And I suspect that the cat is going to come around eventually because Goldilocks will not be any threat to the cat whatsoever, other than the fact that puppies do dart around a bit. But the cat will learn very quickly that Goldilocks is not anything that the cat needs to fear or be feeling uh, intimidated by in any way. And the cat is also going to appreciate that Goldilocks understands that the cat is the one who's in charge and never challenges that position. Uh, so, and, and she's also the type of puppy who's not going to be the least bit offended if the cat doesn't wish to engage with her. She won't be at all upset if the cat doesn't want to play. So that is Goldilocks off to Sydney with Anna and Dennis for their very first experience with their very first puppy. There you go, pretty girl. So that's all the puppies from the litter. We're going to wind things up now. Uh, there's lots of news and information to take in and nobody wants to think about anything else other than their new puppy. So for those of you who haven't told me the name of your puppy, I can't wait to hear what they are. Uh, everybody in this litter is enrolled in Head Start, so all the puppies have already been uh, introduced to the various things that you have asked us to do with them. And uh, their crate training is being, being commenced this week. Uh, so we'll hear quite a bit of rap, 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 rap while they get used to being in the crate on their own. But it makes it so much nicer for you when they come home and they're already accustomed to being in the crate. And usually that means they will sleep right through the night, right from the first night. So congratulations to everyone. It's a beautiful litter of mini Labradoodles. We are so excited at Van Isle Labradoodles to have such amazing families for our puppies. And we are also delighted for Sherry at Chilliwack Labradoodles. And we just think that everybody has had the perfect fit. So we can't wait to hear your names. Please post them uh, below in the comments so everybody knows what you've decided to name your puppy and let us know what your thoughts are on uh, which puppy has chosen you as their forever family. Thanks for watching.